Hello stylers, welcome back to the Full Style Eat channel for another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I <laughs> am pushing it to stay awake. <laughs> um, today's video is going to be a unboxing and review of the Big Fit mattress and foundation. Please excuse me in my appearance and if I sound nasally I believe I am coming down with a cold um, this happened quite rapidly and I have and my right eye has been twitching um, so but I wanted to get this review part of the video done because of the unboxing part and the setting up part is sadly chopped together because I, I didn't really intend to make this a video. I just kind of was recording footage for a blog. But when I sat down and thought about it, I was like, I really want to share. I really want to share about this bed because I really do love this bed. The reason why I have you guys up is because right behind me, you can see, I have some very exciting packages. Um, I left my tripod in the at the house so i don't have no way to properly set you guys up so you guys are gonna be kind of ghetto leaning <sighs> this is not how you film a proper youtube video hopefully you don't fall but i want to open my boxes from big fig i'm so excited i've been wanting to try big fig since 2017 2018 and um, as a gift and a happy move, and thank you for taking care of my mother. Um, uh, yeah, I got a gift of a new dot, a new uh, mattress, and a new frame because mine was on its way out. I had it for ten years, so almost ten years, probably like nine. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, open this one up. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Trying to move it around. 
This is a moving flower, by the way. big mattress for years now um, ever since I learned about them I want to say back in 2017 2018 when I was really involved in the plus size fashion industry and I was going to conferences and events and they were some of the bigger supporters and sponsors of those events and you know you get to try them out if you go to like the what is it Fat girl, thick girl, the thick girl one in Atlanta that's now in LA. They always had the fig beds there for you to try out and lay on. And they would have people there talking about financing, and because you know they are rather expensive, they are a luxury investment piece. And so I wanted to share my thoughts on it. So I was gifted, I was gifted my bed by a family member um, for moving out into my own place <laughs> and they purchased the mattress and the foundation did y'all see that? white fluff they purchased the mattress and the foundation and they had it shipped here to this address and um, I unboxed it and I showed a bit of that on camera and it was a very exciting experience. The mattress and foundation come in two different boxes and I didn't notice that one said foundation and one said mattress. Like I noticed it but like didn't notice that, you know, you know how you, you see something but not really pay attention to it? That was happening. And the assembly, the unboxing and assembly process was easy. I did need some help with like getting the things off the box and then help with putting my mattress onto my bed. Um, the, the deflating, no, the inflating of the mattress took only a few hours. It said within 30 minutes it would be like okay to like lay down on and sit on, but then within a few hours, um, it would be completely like usable and that was really fun me and my sister was here all day because we was like waiting on other packages to come in this is before we officially moved in so we was here all day and she helped me do that and then we like lay down on it in the, in the evening it was very very nice it was a very nice sweet moment i did not get that on camera because it was like in the moment type thing um 
I have been sleeping on this bed officially for a week, a little over a week. And I really, really do love it. I feel secure and cushioned. Um, it is a bit of an adjustment because my bed was well worn and it knew my lumps and my bumps. But that also wasn't a good thing because I was sinking into it. So getting a bit adjusted in how I lay and getting comfortable because I I prefer like a, a plush pillow top. I don't like a firm bed. This is not firm. I wouldn't call this firm, but I also want to call it a pillow top. It is a combination of the two. I do like that the bed is solid and um, steady. You know how the old commercials where they show people jumping on the bed and there was like a glass of red wine on one corner. I love that it's like this. So when I sit something down on my bed and then I go to like, drop down on my bed or whatever, I go to move it all over, I don't have to worry about my computer or something like sliding or tipping or being jostled around so that is great for me I do love that I feel secure in putting all of my weight on this bed I haven't stepped on this bed yet but I have done like some stretches on the bed like in the morning so like being on my back being on my knees on my legs doing like some stretching so I feel secure I don't have to worry about like oh my god I'm in here like a spring pop or a board wood crack none of that thing and someone who is well up there in weight <laughs> that is something I've had experience and worried about so I do like this I was the, the family member purchased a full size I originally requested a queen size or they originally was going to get a queen size but when I saw the, the layout and the measurements of what is going to be my primary bedroom. Um, we have readjusted that to give me a little bit more space around the bed because I do want to be able to get like a nice stand in here and other stuff, but I am very happy with the size of the full size bed. So I do not have a, a, a headboard, nor do I have a frame um, because of the price of the bed. <laughs> I just received the matches and the foundation. I hope to go and purchase my own frame in the months to come because I like I don't like my bed sitting on the floor and I like the idea of an elevated bed and possibly having some under the bed storage because I so desperately need more storage in my room in my apartment. So yes, under the bed storage. I definitely get a beautiful headboard to go with the vibe. Even with the bed sitting on the floor, um, uh, the bed, the mattress and the frames, the foundation still on the floor, it's still not a very low um, get up. Like I'm not struggling to get up out the bed. And I have the knees and the ankles of someone who, I don't know. These are not the same knees I used to pop, lock and drop it with and used to droop with. These are not the same ankles. It's not that I used to dance when I was on a pom pom team and play volleyball. It's not. So sometimes I need help up. Sometimes I need to take my time getting up because it's a lot of it's gravity. Gravity wants to pull me back because of all of that. But with this bed, it's not. What I'm getting at is not super low where I'm unable to get off the bed. So in the middle of the night when I'm getting up and I'm going to rest to the bathroom because I got to pee or whatever, I'm not struggling to get off the bed. I could just easily push myself up off the bed. So it's not low even if it's sitting before. So I'm excited to get it elevated a little bit so I need a little bit more elevation. I can't really speak about the ordering process because I was not there to add stuff to the cart, to check out, put in payment. Um, shipping was quick. I got the bed within a week. I want to say four to five days, but it was within a week. I did not have to wait long. There was tracking and stuff, the, um, the automatic system to make sure that I got confirmation and tracking, all of that was good because if I remember that ordered it for me, forwarded me everything and it all came together. I believe it all came together, okay? separately 
no, they, the bed and the foundation arrived at the same time. That was a smooth process. Setup was a smooth process. You saw footage of me even showing you how I rearranged some things, like how I even moved it. So when I was when I got a rug, it was easy for me to just like move it, lift it up, you know, lean it against the wall as I put down a rug and reposition the bed and everything. I haven't completely decked out the bed with my comforter. I'm just using like a standard old white comforter. But um, I'm waiting. I, I was waiting until I have like a headboard and a, a, a rail. But I may do, I may just do it because it's coming into fall. It's, so I am excited. I got a rug that was top priority to get a rug was because the bed was sliding when it was just sitting on the floor. So when the foundation was sitting on the floor, that was some sliding, like when I push up or when I like go to sit down, it does slide, move a little bit. So I needed a rug to to stop, you know, so it was a smooth surface against the floor. So that has stopped since I've gotten the rug. So yay, good for that. So overall, I would give my experience with Big Fig, with only having the bed a little over a week, I would give it honestly. Um, I, I want to say an a eight, a nine, a nine out of ten, and the reason why it's an eight, nine out of ten, nine out of ten, is because I don't know how it would compare to having a frame rail under the bed. Like, how would that benefit? I'm looking into possibly purchasing the one from Big Fig, or maybe another one. So I'd have a little bit more height for that under the bed storage. So once I get a rail, I will definitely come back and give you a, a follow-up um, review on how it functions with the rail. Do I still feel secure? Am I hearing the rail creak and moan? Like what is happening? What is going on? What is what does it feel like and sound like for the foundation to be lifted up off the floor? Um, because right now it's sitting on the floor, so it has some grounding to it and some soundness, so I don't really hear much wood. Like, I don't hear anything but just that, <laughs> which is so good. You don't hear the creaking, the creak, the creaking of the box of the springs and the matches and the box spring. That is such a beautiful thing. Um, I think that's it, guys. I am seriously about to take it out. So yes. If you guys have any questions about the fig mattress, put them in the comments. I will try to answer them the best I can. I'm so very excited. I, that, <laughs> just using the bed has been so, so good. I feel confident and comfortable that I am not going to destroy this bed, which is sometimes a fear when um, getting into beds. Like even when I go to hotel beds, I'm always kind of literally like, okay, you can this bed hold my weight which I hate but anyway, that's it I wanted to record this um, again she not feeling well she about to take a nap it has been a busy week and my body is making me know making me know that okay stylist I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are enjoying the last little bit of your summer Summer is officially, unofficially coming to a close with Labor Day right around the corner. And so I hope you're getting the last little bit of your summertime in. I know hopefully I am going to be getting... <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so very much. This video is chaotic, but thank you. Know that you are loved. And you are worthy to be loved, but most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Mm -hmm.